Hi, and welcome to another Wetbinder.com book talk. I'm Mike Barltrop, and today we're going to talk about a graphic novel. That graphic novel is John Constantine, 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 The Debate Lives On, Potentially Forever. Uh, I'm going with Constantine, though, so feel free to get in the comments and tell me why I'm wrong. This is Volume 1 of the new Sandman Universe series by Cy Spirier, and it is Marks of Woe. What is Sandman Universe? That's really the first step we need to know. Sandman has hit its 30th anniversary, and all of the Neil Gaiman books uh, came back. So we have The Dreaming, we have Hellblazer, we have Books of Magic. Really, that's one of my favorite titles. I think Books of Magic is up there above Sandman, but that doesn't matter right now. We're here to talk about Hellblazer. Except it does matter because the first volume of Hellblazer opens up with some Books of Magic. Inside we see John Constantine with Tim Hunter, and they are battling it out. Tim Hunter has become this evil wizard bent to destroy the world. Uh, John's able to stop him by making a deal with a version of himself from the future who is happy. Anyone who has read any of the previous 300 issues of Hellblazer uh, that was the series before this, arguably, uh, we can talk about if all of the series that were in between for the last 15 years count or not. I'm going to say Hellblazer is issue 1 to 300, a whole bunch of Swamp Thing, and then this title right here. Nothing has picked up quite like this title. In fact, this is one of the better comics that I think has been written in the last decade. Uh, there's been some great stuff, but this is one of the best. And why? Because I think it gets to the heart of what Vertigo titles used to be. So this book opens, as I said, with Constantine fighting off against Tim Hunter. Who's Tim Hunter? He's a little bit like Harry Potter before Harry Potter with a mm, slightly less tragic backstory but also more believable characterization. Uh, but what really matters is when John gets into his own journeys. John goes to the London Tower and sees that the Ravens there have all been made to do terrible, terrible things. Because this is a book that deals with contemporary issues and dealing with racialized issues, dealing with racism, is some of the things that this book gets into very heavily. One of the things that I think really stands out to me in this title is that it is touching on real issues and presenting them in a believable way. It's hard for me to read out any section of this book because it's a graphic novel and reading it out page by page, panel by panel, can often seem a little bit cliche because it's not meant to be read that way. These are graphic novels. It juxtaposes the images and the words. We see that both are important to understanding it. It also introduces us to a new character, Tommy Willowtree. Now, Tommy Willowtree is a new character that is the anti-John Constantine. He thinks that everything he's doing is to make Constantine happy and proud because Constantine has kept the world alive, kept everybody happy. Uh, but really, at the end of the day, Tommy Willowtree is doing it out of benevolence. He uses magic by telling puns. He's able to use yoga to help defeat enemies. John Constantine just goes and gets drunk and muddles his way through while sacrificing all of those around him. What's interesting is that Tommy can also hold his alcohol better than John. So he is the ultimate version of this character. But he's not John. He's not the person we love. We love John for his faults. We're charmed by Tommy because of all of his glory. So one of the things that this series does is it gets into what is loss about, what is life about, what is love about. And that's one of the reasons why it stands out to me. Because it's been a long time since I've seen a comic that doesn't just touch on superhero cliches, that doesn't just touch on one of thing like relationships, but that goes from issue to issue, storyline to storyline, telling really unique tales. And that's why I think this is wonderful. If you think comics aren't for you, I would highly recommend picking up volume one of Cy Spurrier's Hellblazer. I think it's fantastic. If you have read this book, or if you're thinking about reading it because I've just done this book talk, please get in the comments below. Let's have a conversation. I would love to talk more about this title. And for those of you 
who are thinking, hey, are there more books that you could let me know about? Well, I'll see you next Sunday. Feel free to like and subscribe. We do this every week. Take care.